and welcome to the first Talon 1 Fire Squadron tutorial. Today we're going to be going over the HUD, Taxi, Takeoff, and Landing. So we're going to be using the KR-67 for our demonstration today. So going into the HUD, taking a look at the very center of the HUD, the very center of the HUD, the W with the two lines coming out to the side, that's going to be your crosshair. So when you deploy your gun and whatnot, that's going to be where it's shooting. Uh, the two lines to the sides coming out of those, with the break in the middle, those two lines are going to be your level heading indicator. So you'll know you'll be level at those lines. The lines above and the lines below are indicating that you are climbing or you are descending. To the left of that, the zero knots, that is your current airspeed. Below that, it's going to be your G-force indicator, telling you how many G-force you are currently pulling. And below that, it's going to be your max G-forces for that flight. To the left of that, it's going to be your fuel indicator. Moving over to the right side, the top right number, zero feet per second, that's going to be your the amount of altitude you're gaining or descending in feet per second. And then below that, it's going to be your sea level altitude indicator. When you take off, there will be another number that appears below that, and that's going to be your radar altitude, letting you know how far you are from the ground in relation to how far you are from the ground instead of seat level. To the right, the wheels are going to be your your landing gear indicator, letting you know that your landing gear is currently deployed. And now we're going to throttle up. We're now going to do the taxi tutorial. Taxiing is pretty easy, just follow the yellow line. I normally like to try to stay about max 15 to 20 knots during during taxi as we approach the runway we're just going to stay on this yellow line going right once we hit the tarmac we're going to stay along the middle of the middle of the runway along the white line once you do so and you're lined up you're going to increase throttle and once we hit 100 knots we're going to pull back starting to pull back slightly on the stick stay on the center line pull back slightly we're up in the air make sure to raise your landing gear and we are now up in the sky Something that is very important while taking off is making sure not to exceed your angle of attack farther than uh, what your current airspeed will allow. A lot of times how people will crash is that they're trying to bank left or right straight off of takeoff and they will be too high on their angle of attack causing them to stall. So if we turn left, you can see our angle of attack indicator at the top left there turn yellow. That's letting us know stall. that- Stall. Yep, that's letting us know that we're going to approach a stall if we continue on that path. So we're going to slightly pull up and straighten out, fixing our stall and also increasing airspeed. Our next demonstration is going to be the landing. So as we're flying here, you can see that we're going up about 70 plus feet per second as we bring our crosshair down. You can see that our our feet per second changes from negatives now. Something to also know while you're flying, as you are moving fast and doing very hard banks, you will start to lose consciousness as you pull more Gs. So to avoid that, just straighten out and stop pulling in the direction that you are currently pulling. On approach, a final touchdown would only like to be about 120 to about 150 knots on final approach. So as we approach the runway here, what we're going to do is we're just gonna, going to get ourselves lined up as much as possible. You're gonna deploy your landing gear. Something that's important to know too is on the left side here, 
on the very left where that red arrow is, that's going to be our glide slope path. You're going to want to stay as much as possible on the yellow. The, the red's letting you know that you're too low. The green's letting you know you're too high. So we are on a very good glide slope right now. We're just going to hold this as we approach our the runway. You're just going to want to flare off ever so slightly. And that's how you land. 